Okay. So on a more serious note. On the night that Osama bin Laden is pronounced dead. DEAD! WWE has a pay-per-view such so called Extreme Rules. The 2011 edition of Extreme Rules, brother of WWE. So the show started off tonight. First of all, I want to say the show overall, not too bad. I thought it was a good show. I enjoyed it. It was fun to watch. Um, again, wasn't too bad. Um, a lot of good matches, in my opinion. Um, I didn't like some of the results of those matches, but it did what it needed to do, and life goes on. But hey, everyone has their own opinion. That's a beautiful thing. But the YWC. Things colics. So anyway. Uh, first match. Last main standing match. Randy Orton. The Viper. Versus the Straight Edge. Savior himself. CM Punk. So before the match even started. We had the uh, Raw anonymous general manager. Came out. Uh, gave an email. And said that the Nexus. Bang from ringside. So the new Nexus just walks out. So yeah. This match was good. I enjoyed it. A lot of good spots. At one point, Randy Orton, uh, Randy Orton, CM Punk come out with uh, candlesticks under the ring, and Randy Orton swings for the fences. Freaking look like Albert Pujols out there, just you know, just freaking whacking freaking CM Punk with the candlesticks. No homo. But anyway, this match again was good. It was fun to watch. Um, both these guys at the finish. At one point, CM Punk hits the go to sleep, and he doesn't even hit him with his own freaking kneecap. He just just drops him right then and there on the on the steel steps. I actually thought that CM Punk would have won it right then and there. But again, it was a good match. Uh, Randy Orton wins via RKO. Uh, he, had a, he had two in the match, including that one. Um, I forget, CM Punk was doing something, and then, you know, CM Punk just, like, flew and got hit by the RKO. So, yeah, Randy Orton was a match. Then we have a backstage segment between Teddy Long and uh, Seamus Fala, the Celtic warrior. He said, I don't like you, Teddy Long, blah, 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 you know, and then Teddy Long was like, oh, yeah, well, I'll put you in a United States title match for the, in a table match right now. And, uh, you know, Seamus goes on to say, oh, well, I want to see his birth certificate. Was he, uh, is he a U.S. citizen? I don't think he was born in the United States. Seamus, you're from freaking Ireland. How the hell? Seriously. <laughs> but anyway, um, the match happens. It was a good match. It was a good entertaining match. Uh, especially really good for just throwing out of a freaking hat um so yeah both these, both these guys got pretty good time and also the, I forgot to mention the Randy Orton CM Punk match got like 30 plus minutes so yeah that really got a lot of time um so you know Kofi Kingston wins becomes the new United States champion after jumping off the top rope and landing on Sheamus and Sheamus went through the announce table uh not the announce table the table itself um but yeah I had a feeling this was going to happen sooner rather than later either Sheamus or Wade Barrett was going to lose the Wade Barrett going to lose the uh mid-card championships. I mean, it just doesn't make sense having two mid-card champions on the same brand. It just doesn't make sense. So, yeah. Kofi Kingston, the new United States champion. This is, I believe, the third time he's... Is this the third or second time that he's become... You know, it's, I think this is the third time he's become U.S. champion. Anyway. Uh, then we had... Uh, I think we had, this one we had the promo backstage between freaking uh, R-Truth. Uh, yeah, R-Truth said that he knows, he knows, you know. That was, that was just confusing. So then we had the country whipping match of Jack Swagger and Michael Cole versus Jim Ross and Jerry the King Lawler. Ten plus freaking minutes of this. Seriously, I don't remember a match going this slow. Oh wait, yeah I do. It's called Michael Cole versus Jerry the King Lawler at WrestleMania. Come on, WWE. Don't please don't put Michael Cole in the ring. Oh good lord. Seriously, this match was so freaking slow. Yeah, Jack Swagger put freaking Jim Ross. I think he put Jerry the King Lawler in an ankle lock, but Oh I thought you were supposed to win this match by freaking Submission. Oh, randomly, Michael Cole just rolls up uh, Jim Ross, and then the match is over. Hmm. Yeah, that was entertaining. 
They may have false count anywhere match between Cody Rhodes and uh, Rey Mysterio. Cody Rhodes cut a pretty good promo before the match even started. It talks about how uh, he's giving everybody else paper bags and then he put overhead because, in his opinion, they're ugly. We're all ugly. So yeah, the match happened. It was pretty good. I actually like this match a lot. The reason why is because I know it's false count anywhere, but seriously, the fact that they got to fight backstage, fight near the um, concession stands, and the fact that it's kind of funny, even though it was PG, hearing holy shit, holy shit, holy shit in the crowd is just pretty cool in my opinion. But anyway, um, these guys weren't, you know, this, these guys had a pretty good amount of time as well. You know, kind of like the Rain Warren CM Punk match. Uh, it was good, entertaining, fun to watch. Um, Rey Mysterio uh, exposes his knee brace, the same one that busted uh, CM, uh, Cody Rhodes in the face. Um, and Rey Mysterio 619, 1, 2, 3, your winner. Rey Mysterio. Booyaka, booyaka. Yeah. Then, uh, before, then before our next match, Layla was backstage with the face diva. It talked about how she was sorry for what she did, and it could be her last night in the WWE. And then, you know... And then, yeah, that was a cute little segment. Mm. Um, then we had the Divas match. Loser leaves WWE, no disqualification, no countout match between Layla and Michelle McCool. This match itself, eh, it was okay, I guess. Eh. Uh, Layla wins. Um, the main point is Michelle's, you know, I don't think she's technically leaving away, but she's just leaving for a while because, you know, she wants to be with her hubby, The Undertaker, who's dealing with his injuries, so I'm sure when Undertaker comes back, Michelle McCool will come back, so I doubt we've seen the last of Michelle McCool. So after the match is open, we had probably one of the best parts, I marked down like a freaking bitch when this happened, we had the debut of Karma, aka Awesome Kong, and literally just rang hell on freaking Michelle McCool, and then you see Kelly Kelly going, Kelly Kelly and the rest of the divas going, fuck my life, and Gail Kim staring there like, damn, I gotta face this big bitch again. Then we had the ladder match between for the vacant World Series Championship of Bruno Del Rio versus Christian. Good match. Very good match. One of my favorites in the night. Believe it or not, I know some people really hate Bruno Del Rio. He's a heel. He's supposed to hate him. But seriously, this son of a bitch, I give him credit. This guy, you can tell he works his ass off. Um, and so is John Cena. Oh, yeah. But, you know, again, this was a really good match. God, plenty of time. Uh, probably one of my favorite ladder matches, to be honest with you, that, you know, I've ever seen. Um, Christian ladder match is a good combination, you know, whatever we have on there. Uh, at one point, Brothers of Realist is about to win the match. Out comes Edge in the Jeep, honking, gets distracted. Uh, Christian throws, uh, excuse me, pushes the ladder that uh, Brothers of Real is on. And Brothers of Real crash and lands on uh, Ricardo Rodriguez and Brodus Clay, who earlier in the match interfered. Um, so then Christian comes up on the, on the ladder, grabs the, bell, grabs the bell, and becomes a new Volturi Championship. So, uh, Congrats to Christian. I'm glad he's finally World Series Champion, finally. Uh, you know, 13 years of what? Being somewhat associated with WWE, even though he was in TNA. You know, I know he was a World Series Champion there. He's the NWA Champion, former ECW Champion. But I think finally that he's been now the World Series Champion. Uh, you know, I'm proud of Christian. Then we have the Lumberjack match for the Tag Team Championship. Came the Big Show versus Wade Barrett and Ezekiel Jackson. The core is done. Came in the picture when that was it. This was short, not really good. Probably second worst match of the night behind Jack's the country whipping match. Oh good lord. Then finally we had the main event for the WWE Championship. Steel Cage match, triple threat, Miz, Cena, Morrison. Hell yeah, this match was good. Again, a match I didn't like the results, but I liked you know the match overall that was a good match um a lot of good spots at one point uh looks like morrison is about to win all of a sudden he does his, the uh, starship pain off the cage and then our truth comes out interferes uh just just you know attacks john morrison and leaves the cage you know what's up shut up uh and then you know we just uh cena has the uh freaking stf on the Miz, Miz is about to escape. Blah, blah. We've had a lot. We had a lot of. It was. It was a good match. It was a good steel cage match. Um, John Cena hits the attitude adjustment on uh, the Miz, who earlier in the match hit the skull crusher finale on Cena, but Morrison was trying to escape from the cage, so the match didn't end. 
And then, so yeah, Cena hits the attitude adjustment off the turnbuckle, and crash goes the Miz. One, two, three, you winner, a new WWE champion, John Cena. So John Cena is now a 10 time world champion. Good Great, and now we get to see John Cena walking around with the WWE Championship. I understand what people are saying this. I gotta admit, I'm a Miz fan, but, you know. The Miz, let's face it, the Miz had a better title run than Sheamus and, and Jack Swagger. And it lasted longer, too. But, yeah, at least now we'll get to see, you know, you know let's see John Cena, WWE, World WWE Champion. Oh, good Lord. We gotta get the Miz credit. He, he at least tried, and I think he did a pretty well job keeping the WWE Championship. So, yeah, even though that we still have freaking John Cena as the WWE Champion, which sucks. But, yeah. Anyway, that's my... WWE Extreme Rules pay-per-view 2011 review. Fresh thoughts. I want to give what you guys think. If you guys want to talk about, about Ben Laden being dead, go for it. But reality, guys, I want to hear what you guys thought about tonight's pay-per-view of Extreme Rules, brother. So all you phenicaholics, have a good night. It's getting hot in here. Wow, that song is wicked old. Peace, guys.